So we decided we're going out today. Um, the boy don't want to go. He's creating. I'm about ready to blow my nut. Seriously. Me and Lazy are ready though. And Daddy Pig. And Kian is not going on his game later because he's a naughty boy. Okay. Tell him where we're going. Oh, where are you? Hello. Malcolm's going to take us to see some planes. Great. Looking forward to that, aren't we, guys? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Sharpie's World. I've actually gone on a family day out. I'm actually doing a, a YouTube video. Not done one for ages. I've not been nowhere, I've just been busy. But we're out. We've come to National Trust site Kettleston Hall in Derbyshire. And we're about to go on the longest walk ever. But someone wants to find some bar lambs and feed them. So, the chap said, what did he say? It was 2.7 miles. And he reckons we can do it in an hour and 15 No, this was 3.2 miles. Oh, this one's 3.2 miles. Anyone got a stopwatch to see how long it's going to take us? What time is it? What time is it now? Knowing us, it's going to be pitch back dark when we finish. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, this ain't gonna be one of them videos you see on Facebook, is it? Where like you look down the hole and all of a sudden a big giant spider goes like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, for those who've got a National Trust membership card, put in the comments, is it worth it? Because we're thinking of getting one. Now we're going out more places, especially because we live in Derbyshire. We've got the Peak District in Derbyshire. There's, there's loads of places we can go to. So put in the comments, is it worth it? Because we're thinking about it, aren't we? Yeah, definitely for the money. I think it's quite good. We've just paid £22 for a family ticket to come oh, here. I, I suppose a lot of them are quite similar, so I think it will. I feel like an Ewok. I feel like an Ewok. Oh my god. Ooh. I can't fit in there. <laughs> What's down this hole? It freaks me out, Case, like a big giant anaconda comes out and bites my head off. Oh yeah. Well, it's only joking. It's a rabbit hole. Who lives in a house like this? Hagrid. We say Hagrid. It's empty. All the Smurfs. That's creepy. Smurfs, yeah. I reckon it's Hagrid's. More like a Smurfs house. Well, it must be where you live. It could be Hagrid's holiday home. <laughs> Boy, wheedling. Hi. It's gotta be a fox's den, surely. Or badger. Hedgehog. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Zoom in, zoom in. Oh my god. Daddy, zoom in. Oh, I can see your hands. Put your hand in. There's nettles and flies all around it. Boo! <laughs> Give us a wave. I'll put my head in there. It's way too narrow. I'll put my head in. Can't see it. Yep, can see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, on the dance podium tonight, we have Dancing Good. Close your eyes and listen to the sounds around you. What noises can you hear? Sharp your mum's bomb. Wow, works. Pardon me. If anything jumps out at me, I'm not going to be happy. Ooh, that make a good bin. All right, for those that come here, if you're doing the long walk and your kids are moaning and you're tired and you need to make a shortcut, you can actually go down the short walk. And that'll take you straight back to the car park. But we're hard. 
So we're going to carry on on the long walk. I'm going to jump out on them somewhere. Guys, I'm baking. A little cold woman left the house. It's roasting here. Guys, a new game for you while you're watching the vlog. Comment it below how often you can see Sharpie Mum's face go like this. I not, can't no, do it. I can't do it she when does I'm this. Not on the spot. When she's not happy about something, she goes. <laughs> so comment below how many times you see that face. I'll give you a head start, she's already done it twice. Okay, so starting from now, from two, okay? Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Looking after its two little lambs. She goes too close, it's gonna ram it. That'll be quite funny. Let's carry on watching. Might get 250 quid for you being framed. Let's dodge the sheep crap, guys. Hello, Yui. Hello, Yui. Look at the way he talks to the animals. <laughs> Look at me gone out. You just jumped out of your skin and pooed like the sheep. I did on Friday night. Yeah. Where's the boy? Long walk, long walk. Oh, I forgot he was here. Where is he? K Dog? K Dog? Funny walk, funny walk, funny walk, funny walk. Funny walk, funny walk, funny walk. <laughs> Somewhere the K Dog's hiding. He's about to jump out on us. Either that or if he's fell down an hole and he's dying. Beaver's nest. It was definitely alive because I've just seen him down there <laughs> through the trees. He's still on the path, he's just running ahead of us. Oh, there's loads of badgers. We found him. A naughty. We found him. Loads of badgers? Badgers? No, badger holes. Oh. oh. I did have a few. Come inside a tree and he's just pooed. Yeah, it was my Fitbit. Alright, guys, we found a maze. Keen's got to the middle. I've gone the wrong way. Look, go back, meet me at the start. I think I've gone to a dead end. Daddy, meet me at the start. I can't because I'm lost now. Go Which way do I go? Go back. How did you get in there? Go back. Hang on, I want to go this way. Go I'm stuck in the maze, guys. I'm stuck in the maze. I'm going to say which way it goes. <laughs> I've definitely took the wrong path. Because I'm, go right I'm going <laughs> further away from him. <laughs> oh dear. Right guys, I'm trapped. I've been walking through cobwebs. There's a big giant fly there. Oh, don't. Oh, no way. I've walked all that and it's a dead end. I'm going to have to take a shortcut through here. I can't walk all the way back, that's going to take me ages. Lace, it's, it's that way, because I went that way and I got trapped. Wait till Keen comes, he'll show you the way. I cheated guys, I'm going to cut through. And apparently this is the right way. I don't know why he's running, I'm knackered. Hang on, I've done all this, and all that's here is a fine little tree. Oh wow. Yeah, see if you can set the right path to come and find us. We're going to be here till tomorrow. She's definitely took the wrong route. What? I'm nearly there, guys! You're not. She got back to the start and now I've told her which way to go. Now she's cheating! Cheat, 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 cheat. Hallelujah. The subscribers have all nodded off. Champion, my Splash pool. Go for a swim, guys. I'll go for a splash No, I wouldn't like to splash in there, would you? I think it drops down over there a lot as well. Excuse me. 
Which way to the toilet? Nice talking to you. Hey ho, this is the Radford family. She's got 22 kids. Stinks in here. Hey, old mate. If you're coming here and doing the long walk, then what we do, don't do what we do and start it at three o'clock. Because in half an hour, the gates close. And I don't even know how far away we are from back to the start where the car park is. So I've made these guys already up. At the minute, we're in a sheep field, getting barred at. Oh, there's loads of little bar lambs here. Lacey! Hello! 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 Hello, bar lambs! It's okay, not gonna touch you. I'm scared in case I get rammed. No leg in it. Lacey thinks they're going to eat out of a hand. They're not dogs. To be honest, the grounds are really pretty cool. But I recommend to do the long walk to get a, a good view. I think we was up there at some point, right at the top. We get to see obviously everything. So I'd make a day of it. You come and bring a picnic. Which way are you going? <laughs> Oh, no, she's scared of dogs. Was this made by the three little pigs? It's a boathouse. It's a boathouse. All right, this is where Sharpie goes and falls in. Yeah. What's the point in that? Help dogs. If you want to come play golf. That's Kettleston Golf Course. Looks like a pretty good golf course. And to be fair, I found the car park. I found the car park, guys. Right up there. So, we've come to this National Trust site. Is it National Trust? It is. <laughs> yeah. Um, and basically, they've told us that you can actually join, join as a member. Which means, basically, you can have free membership to any National Trust site in the UK. And there's jockeying hundreds. And they gave us a map and it looks quite good. There's even free parking at the coast. Uh, how much did they say it was? £133 a year or £11.15 a month? For a family of four. For a family of four. It's not bad, is it? I'm thinking about it, seriously thinking about it, guys. And because we live right in the middle of the UK, we've got hundreds of sites just on our doorstep. Because you've got the whole of Derbyshire, which is Cork Abbey, the Sudbury, then you've got all the Peak District. No. Oh. Yeah, which you, then you've got Chatsworth, it's in the Peaks. Loads of places. Yeah, but no, seriously, I so think about it. we're going to think I'm about sure doing it. Write the names of the people in the family. So, if anyone has got a National Trust membership, comment below. Is it worth it for a family of four? I think obviously the kids' holidays when you try and entertain the kids during the summer. I think we are the bakers. I think you might have one actually. Let us know. Comment below. Is it worth it? Key has just raised a good point. If you've got a family of four and obviously you've got your names written on it. Can you interchange it? So like if Dan was at work one day, Sharpie was at work, and I wanted to come out with my sister today, could my sister come in Sharpie's place or would she have to pay? That's a good point actually, yeah. That's one kind of... Could you lend it to another family? <laughs> Probably not. I oh, know, that's what Keen's just said. Guys, can you imagine someone actually lived here? Can you imagine living in there? I think that used to be a moat. Can you shut up please? I'm vlogging here. I'm talking to the sheep by the way, not my wife. Unbelievable, isn't it? You can have your own games room, you can have a Lego room, you can have your own gym. You never leave. You've got plenty of room in your garden, you've got your own pets to come and like, stroke. Are they asleep or are they dead? Ah, oh, let's go and have a look. We thought the lambs were dead, we just checked on them, they moved. <laughs> Right, I can smell ice cream. Shop's closed, guys. You get a good view, look at this. Guys, what's the thing? 
You know when they built houses like this? What Kean just said. What's the fascination with like naked statues? They're always on old houses like this. He's got a leaf covering his bits. How can those old perverts back in the day? And here's the King of Kettleston. King K-Dog. Bow to you people. Sorry, I meant wave to you people. We're supposed to bow to you. <laughs> no, you're supposed to do the Queen wave. Like yep. Also, when they built churches in the olden days, how tall were they? I'm small. My head height is here. This was built in 1613. You dead? The yeah, M1. That's where we got you up. Right, we've got a grumpy bomb. I need to put her in this tree. Mm. How'd you get in there, Lace? Just stand there. We'll take a picture. Mm. I know, exactly. That means you can get in. <laughs> she's in, she's in. <laughs> See if you can come out this hole at the bottom. Like a ditch. Yeah. Oh yeah, then you gotta get him in the car. Alright, do you need help getting out? No. Do you need help Just getting out, Christ. I said. <laughs> Shout out John from Ron Cord on his blue sofa like that. You'll scare him, we won't watch you again. Right guys, if you stuck around to the end, cheers for that. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I've got two very tired kids arguing with each other. I'm not tired. <laughs> Just being a model. No, I'm not. Told you. Right, we'll leave it there guys. Take care, bye.